Good morning. Good morning from Kotal. We have heard that this apparently is an amazing spot for diving and snorkeling, so we are going to go on an all day snorkeling trip for today. Let's head out. We've just arrived to our first stop, which is called Nanyuan Island. And what makes this place so special is that it's three very small islands that are all connected by sandbars. So we're going to go walk across one of those sandbars right now and hike up to a viewing point at the top of one of those islands. was a pretty long wait. I think it took us probably about like 20 minutes to half an hour to get to the top. But the views that you get when you do get to the top are second to none. So I'd say that was worth it. Yeah, I agree. I think it was totally worth it to wait in line because just like with the viewpoint yesterday, you get a bird's eye view over the three small islands and you can clearly see how they're connected by the sandbars. And it's just so unique that kind of topography or geography, I don't really know what the right word is, but whatever it is, it is absolutely beautiful. And the thing that really gets me here as well is these huge granite boulders. I've just never seen anything like it and I'm kind of obsessed with them. Yeah, this is already shaping up to be one of the best days we've had in Thailand so far. So let's see what the rest of it has in store. So what did you think of your lunch? It was really nice. It wasn't obviously gourmet, but it was definitely nicely put together. You could tell it was like home cooked food and yeah, the fact that they're able to cater for this many people with a, like a proper decent sized meal is um, pretty impressive. So yeah, it was considered really nice. Yeah, they seem to have a system down pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the things that we both commented on is actually just how efficient this has been overall. Um, considering the fact that you are trying to herd a bunch of cats, then uh, they're herding them pretty well.
we've just got back from our boat tour of Koh Tao and I had a shower and I refused to put back on my wet clothes and bathing suit, but I swear I am wearing a towel. I'm not actually naked, but I am exhausted after that full day. We left here at 9.30 in the morning. Yep. 9.30 in the morning and we got back at 5.30. That was a full on day. But it was really good, actually. As we alluded to before, then the tour group are very, very good. We went through one called Oxygen Hotel, and they seem to be kind of one of the main tour operators that do these kinds of boat tours around the island. And they just are incredibly efficient. The staff are fun friendly people, making sure that safety is a priority, which is fantastic. They give you lunch, which is great, free coffee, which is even better. And then on top of that, options to free water and some snacks as well. So they definitely do take good care of you. And then in terms of the spots, it wasn't quite what they planned, was it? No, I believe the original tour said we were going to go to Nanyuan Island, which we did do first. Then I think we were supposed to go to Mango Bay, Hinwang Bay, which we had tried to visit yeah. the other day. A place called Luke, L-E-U-K Bay or Beach, and then end with Shark Bay. And actually, we did go to Shark Bay today. However, they said that the waves and tide are just too big and strong at the moment to go to that side of the island, which maybe explains our experience when we tried to go to beaches and bays on that side of the island. It would definitely explain a lot. And so instead, after the three islands connected by the sandbar, we ended up going to Pinnacle Bay, mm -hmm. Freedom Beach, which we also went to yesterday. Yep. But this time it was much better because it was from the water. We went to Shark Bay, and then we stopped one more place, but I didn't quite catch the name of it. And mm -hmm. that was the end place, and it actually wasn't anything to write home about that one place, whereas the others were phenomenal. Really, really cool. Definite highlight alongside seeing some of the biggest versions of reef fish that we'd already seen was obviously seeing the turtles. They were the biggest turtles we have seen our entire year abroad. They're beautiful. They are so gorgeous. Just like magical creatures. Yeah, and that was the thing. It was kind of just so great because it wasn't like they were in kind of any high pressure environment. They weren't like massively overcrowded or anything like that. And so with that, they were just foraging mm -hmm. on the sea floor. And it was fantastic because you were just watching them going about their regular day and just feeding and all that kind of stuff. And honestly, seeing that as an experience and being only a few meters away from that is just so special. Words well, can't quite describe that. Yeah, that was actually really incredible to witness. And it was very different from what we had experienced in Bohol mm. most recently where we yeah. saw turtles, where it was just an overwhelming number of tourists who were crowding the turtle and touching the turtle here. They specifically said, keep your distance, don't touch the turtles, just observe them. So it was really respectful. And yeah, just to be even still that close to such large ones, which the biggest we've seen was spectacular. Yeah. Absolutely. It was a real collector's item and I think given our experiences elsewhere on the island which maybe haven't quite gone according to plan, this one technically didn't go according to plan either but it still shook out to be an amazing experience all in all. Absolutely. 550 baht was the base price but then to go to Nanyuan Island you have to pay, I think it's like an environmental fee or tax which is very common with South East Asian islands, so it was 250 baht, so what's that? 800. 800 baht each total, which works out to about 32 Canadian dollars each, so not cheap, but when you consider it was a massive boat, amazing guides, free snacks, water, coffee, tea, lunch, your mask, and it's a full day's worth of the tour. Then I actually think that it was really good value for money. Absolutely. And so I think if we were going to recommend anything out of Kotal, then I think that would be the one, wouldn't it? Yeah, because you get to see the islands that are connected by the sandbars, which I thought was awesome climbing up to that viewpoint. Yep. You get to go snorkeling at a bunch of different 
bays and see incredible marine life. And the other thing that I would recommend is what we did yesterday, which was John's C1 oh, viewpoint, because yeah. I actually really enjoyed that too. So those would be, I think, our recommendations for Kotel. Absolutely. But this actually brings our time at Kotel to a close, provided that the seas are well enough that we're going to be taking a ferry across to our next island, and we cannot wait to pick things up from that. Yeah, just to add to that, we booked our ferry to the next island, and she goes, yeah, I'll phone you if it cancels if the waves are too big like it did today. So I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow. Exactly. You'll have to tune in. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling.